The Legend of Zelda is the best series of games that Nintendo has put out ever. Breath of the Wild, Ocarina of Time, A Link to the Past, Wind Waker are all absolutely incredible games. But all those great games, they had to start somewhere, right? And you know, if you read the title, then you know what's happening. That's right, you beautiful people. Today we're taking a look at Legend of Zelda. That's it, that's the title. I know you're not here for the marketing portion, but Nintendo was really smart with selling some gold cartridges. I know that this doesn't add much to the game, but Zelda 1 was the first ever game to have a battery in the cartridge. Now this is something that some games do automatically now, but it was a big deal back then. So there's a story to this game, but uh, no one cares. Why does no one care? It's cause you're plopped into a world, old man says, here's a sword, and then there you go. I think people would just look back now and say, hey, it's an open world game, when realistically, they just don't have enough room in the cartridge to tell you what to do or have a map. There's this huge world to explore, and I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know where I'm going. Help me, man. Please, I'm so lost. If you're looking to play through Zelda 1, this is a great map. Feel free to screenshot. Despite how lost you could be, this huge open world is still really cool, even for today. Now, if you can even find the dungeons... Let's talk about the dungeons. Levels, as they are referred to as this game, are pretty freaking easy. There's no puzzles, instead it's just fighting enemies for keys to get into different rooms. You can grab compasses, which will show you where to go in the dungeon. For the most part though, I just guessed. Sorry game designers, but that's what happens when you encounter a genius. Now of course there are bosses in the dungeons, and some of them are stupid easy, and the other ones are really hard. Now, if you manage to get all the Triforces and beat the final boss, well then, congratulations. But, uh, you're gonna need some help along the way. And just like Breath of the Wild, the game doesn't hold your hand. Well, basically no NES games hold your hand. But still, you gotta go out of the way to find shops and secrets that'll help you out along the way. And you can only get rupees in this game by defeating enemies. Now, I complained a lot about Zelda 2 about the difficulty. How's the difficulty in Zelda 1? Now it's an NES game. NES games are naturally hard, but this one just seems a little bit tougher than your average NES game. You will die playing this game. But what's even harder about this game is that at the back of your mind, you know that you're gonna have to restart all the way from the beginning when you die. You'll still have your hearts and magic and everything, but all that progress you just made is gone. This game sold like medicine, man. I really enjoyed my playthrough of Zelda 1, but with the difficulty in starting over and all the really hard secrets to find, kind of brought it down a bit, but I'm going to give it a solid 7 out of 10. Then they made a really crappy sequel. And then they came out with A Link to the Past, which is probably the second best top-down Zelda game. I've never played the Game Boy games, and if I'm being honest, I don't plan on playing them. I'm probably going to stand by this forever, but this is the best top-down and portable Zelda game. A Link Between Worlds. Keep it up. I love it.